Here at Chelyabinsk Hospital No. 8, everyone is still talking about the meteor strike. The huge wave of pressure it created caused windows to shatter and sent debris flying. Many are relieved that they sustained only minor injuries. Suddenly I was hit all over by splinters of glass. I thought I was going to collapse, covered in blood and injured everywhere. But I only have wounds to my forehead, hand and neck. Some motorists managed to catch the spectacle on video. A flash of light followed by a bang and several explosions. This partly collapsed zinc factory is the town's most visible wound. In freezing temperatures, workers are struggling to replace broken windows as quickly as possible. Glass is now scarce. We have to stop warmth leaving the building so that the heating systems don't break. Our first job yesterday, in the dark, was to board everything up with wooden panels. The city's sports center was particularly badly damaged. Over a hundred children were exercising here when the windows shattered. For director Oleg Masenin, it's a miracle nothing worse happened. Some had to see the doctor for the cuts, but everyone's alive and well. We looked after them until the ambulances arrived. Thank God that they're now all at home and not in hospital anymore. For now, all sporting competitions here have been cancelled. And the people of Chelyabinsk hope that the Russian government will quickly provide the financial aid it has promised. The panic is over in Chelyabinsk. Now people here are focused on clearing the rubble. In spite of minor injuries and material damage, residents are breathing a sigh of relief. They escaped what could have been a major disaster.